Hey guys, if we have three unit squares, what is the smallest square that we could use to contain all three of them? What's well, a square with side lengths of two? It doesn't really matter where this square is, it's the same size square that contains them. So next, if we have five unit squares, what is the smallest square that can contain all of them? We can rearrange the five unit squares like this, and the side length of this square is two plus square root of two over two, which is approximately equal to 2.707. What about six unit squares? Well, this right here is the most efficient way to arrange them. The smallest square that can contain all of those squares has a side length of three. What if we have 10 squares? Well, this is the optimal arrangement for 10 squares. And that's a side length of three plus root two over two, or approximately 3.707. What about 15 squares? Well, this is the optimal arrangement for 15 squares. The outer square has a side length of four. Now let's talk about 17 squares. And as of right now, this is the best known optimal arrangement of 17 squares and the side length of the larger square is approximately 4.676. And here's a whole bunch more of them. It's really crazy how some of them are so not symmetric. If you wanna look over these yourself, the link to this site is in the description. How exciting.